And for the first time since the start of COVID, the streets of Coney Island were taken over by mermaids today for the annual Mermaid Parade. News 12's Shakti Dennis gives us a closer look at this year's best costumes. Step aside, Ariel. For the first time in two years, mermaids, sharks, and Jack Sparrow himself strolled down Surf Avenue for the wildly anticipated Mermaid Parade. It's been really such a long wait and our heart is here and it was so good to come and meet old friends that we only see when we're here and it's like we saw them yesterday. New Yorkers from all boroughs showing off their creativity in the hopes to impress the judges. As far as we can tell, it's working. I am so impressed. Everybody put so much work into their costumes. The parade's been awesome so far. Lots of good music, lots of good dancers. Having a great time. Roxy Holloway has been coming to the parade for years, but this year is extra special. Um, I've been a COVID nurse, so I was here in the city and I got deployed, so I actually have not been home since the last mermaid parade. But I'm just grateful to be here. I'm just grateful that the city's back. And the spirits are high as the creatures make their way down Surf Avenue, and some even took the opportunity to spread a message. Coney Island is really being gentrified by luxury development. So there's a huge loss of like small businesses and also like deeply affordable housing. This year is also special because it marks the parade's 40th anniversary. There's just something so special and heartwarming and unique and real about being uh, in person. I can't even describe it. It's amazing. The parade made its way to the boardwalk, leaving behind a lot of happy faces. In Coney Island, Shakti Dennis, News 12.